I'm gonna learn English with Gone Girl. Basically, I'm gonna be expanding my vocabulary. Okay, I'm gonna go with Charlotte. I'm gonna be learning English with YouTube videos. So I'm gonna get my scripts. They're gonna be in the PDFs that I'm gonna be uploading. Yeah, I got this urge to learn English with podcast. Stress management. Emma Chamberlain's podcast is literally like debunking the stuff. Yeah. Debunking. Uh, reciprocated or reciprocate, reciprocate. You can learn English with me. What's up, guys? How are you doing today? Today is a big day. Today is a big day for me because there is always this phase in my English learning process where every four months or every six months I need to refresh myself. What I mean by that is, this is what I mean. So there are two important parts of my learning English process right now. Recently, I've been watching a lot of movies and I decided to improve my speaking skill and my English with movies. For instance, I'm going to learn English with Gone Girl and I'm going to learn English with the girl with the dragon tattoo. So I'm going to get those scripts. This is the first thing that I'm going to do. The second thing is I'm going to go to my YouTube and I'm going to check out these videos that I liked in the past uh, few months, okay? And I'm going to pick a few videos out of those videos that I really like and I'm going to get the script of those videos. So let's take a look at those things, okay? I'm going to go with Jack Edwards. The reason why I want to go with him is because I want to challenge myself. Like, uh, studying with his YouTube videos will be challenging for me because I'm pretty sure I'm going to come across new words and basically I'm going to be expanding my vocabulary. Okay, I'm going to go with Charlotte. Charlotte's podcast. I like Charlotte's podcast and I really enjoy her podcast, especially where she is having this uh, guests. Conversations are really flowing. I like that. Uh, I'm going to go with this podcast. I'm going to see if I can improve my speaking skill with, with her podcast. I'm also going to go for Emma Chamberlain's podcast. The other thing is I always try to combine the things that I love, that I'm really passionate about with learning English. For instance, I'm going to go with David Fincher's interview because I'm really into filmmaking recently and I really want to improve my speaking skill with my favorite director. It's going to be my schedule for like the next three months at least. I'm going to be learning English with movies, I'm going to be learning English with YouTube videos, some of the YouTube videos, and I'm going to be learning English with podcasts. I'm on my way to stationery. It's almost like 15 minutes away from here because it's the closest place to print this much pages, you know for a reasonable price so i'm gonna get my scripts and when i get home i'm gonna start to work on them i am so excited for that i'm looking forward to that because that always motivates me so much anyways right now i listen to a podcast between good and evil uh, i really like charlotte's podcast and anytime i go outside i take a walk i listen to a podcast because or something in english and i've been doing this for the past five years you know I always make sure to listen to something in English. Even if I understand or not, I always listen to something in English because that's my habit, you know? That's kind of like part of my life. I can never stop doing that. So I got my scripts now. I'm on my way home. I'm gonna be home in like 15 minutes and then the minute I get home I'm gonna start to work on them. It's so necessary to practice. It's so important to practice and you know speak English every single day. All right. Okay, there we are. So we have we have movies here in the script and we have youtubers recently i'm planning on uh, obviously learning english with 
movies. Uh, every single movie that I've been watching recently, I'm gonna practice with those movies and I'm gonna share every single important idioms, expressions, grammar rules, pronunciation rules, how to practice with those scripts. I'm gonna share every single information in my uh, next videos. Okay guys, now I'm gonna have my toast and a cup of coffee. And while I'm having my toast, I'm gonna watch this podcast. Recently, I got this urge to learn English with podcast. And I don't want to try out and see if I can improve my speaking skills with, with podcasts. Like, what can I do different in order to improve my speaking skill with podcasts? Now, as you can see, guys, here, sh Charlotte between good and evil, okay? Now, I got the scripts, obviously. After having my toast, I'm going to check out and see if there is any words that I don't know. And if there's any words that I don't know, I'm going to first of all look them up in the dictionary. After I'm done with this process, I'm going to start to work on this podcast. Now I'm about to start uh, working on the podcast. I'm gonna do two important things here. Uh, the first thing is, if there is any word that I don't know, I'm gonna look it up in a dictionary and I'm gonna learn their meanings. And the second thing is, I'm gonna separate, there is two per person in this podcast, so basically, I'm gonna have to separate their lines. You know, when Finney speaks, I'm gonna uh, separate the line, and when uh, Charlotte speaks, I'm gonna separate the line so that you know I know which person talks in the podcast, so that I'm not confused when I'm working on the script. And also, I wanna say that YouTube videos have auto-generated subtitles. So that means sometimes there might be mistakes in the subtitles, like if there is any word that is like mispronounced or misspelled, I'm gonna take a note. Okay guys, now I'm gonna do shadowing, it's 9 p.m. And I'm gonna do shadowing for 40 minutes. I do that every single day, this is like kinda part of my life. I would never skip a day without doing shadowing. Okay, lately I've been doing shadowing with Avery. Sorry for the headphones. I just, I... I can't listen to my own thoughts. Sorry for the headphones. I can't listen to my own head thought. I can't listen to my own thoughts. I have been doing such a bad job. I've been doing such a bad job at, at stress, stress management. management. I've been doing such a bad job at stress management. I feel like everything that I try and do, like I've been going on walks every night, playing video games. I feel like everything that I try and do, I've been going on walks every night i've been going on walks every night playing video games i've been going on walks every night playing video games By the way, I just want to say that if you haven't seen my video where I do shadowing and I show you guys how to do shadowing for instance, let's say you study with this video, okay? You're gonna do shadow with this video. You're gonna break the video into like four to five different parts. And every single day, we're gonna focus on like the five minutes of the video. Like for instance, today you're gonna work on like the four or five minutes of the video and you're gonna do the shadowing for 40 minutes. If you're if you finish the first five minutes very fast, then you'll start all over again, okay? Instead of like moving on instead of like finishing the rest of the video, I'll break the video into like four or five different parts and every single day focus on like 
this little little part so like you know today first five minutes you know you're gonna repeat the lines in the first five minutes for 40 minutes okay for instance you know when i get to that minute five i'm gonna get back to the beginning of the video and i'm gonna start over again also if you ask me like how do you pick your youtuber that you wanna you do shadowing with i mean i make sure that it's fun uh, it's kind of like every single night i feel so tired okay and when you feel tired you don't want to do anything and when i do shadowing with those uh, youtubers that are like you know very laid back very calm like comforting comforting i don't want to learn anything obviously because it's 9 pm okay i'm just so tired and i can't deal with it any new information i just need something to take my mind off things if you're just like a beginner if you just started to learn english if you do shadow with youtube videos you can use the english subtitles because you're gonna struggle so bad when you first start to do shadowing with youtubers after like studying with them you know doing shadowing for like a year or a year and a half you're gonna be able to do shadowing without using subtitles for instance most of the time i did five percent of the time I don't use uh, English subtitles, I just listen to it, I just listen to her and just repeat their lines, I repeat her lines. Because shadowing not only helps you to run your muscles or practice speaking, but also at the same time, you can improve your listening skill because you fully pay attention to understand you know, what she's saying here and that's that's a great way to improve your sp uh, listening skill also, you know. I did the shadowing, shadowing is done. Now I'm gonna go edit my videos for the two hours straight. Basically today, we, I got the scripts, okay? I'm gonna go learn English with movies, like such as Gone Girl and The Girl with Dragon Tattoo. And I'm gonna share every single thing that I learn with you guys. And the second thing is I I will start to learn English with podcasts. I don't know why I said Charlotte. Charlotte, dude. I'm gonna learn English with Charlotte's podcast. And also I'm gonna learn English with Emma Chamberlain's podcast. I'm gonna kinda like experiment with this podcast. I don't know if these podcasts are good for improving speaking skill. So I'm gonna share my experiment with you guys. Uh, I'll keep you updated on that. For instance, uh, in the first 15 minutes on this podcast, I learned, I came across four words, I guess. Four words that I never seen before. For instance, you know, debunking. Our podcast was literally like debunking the stats like yeah. thing. The, it, did you watch it? I'm yeah, assuming. I thought it was great. Okay, debunking, for instance, debunking is one word that I, I've seen this word before, but I always end up forgetting its meaning. I guess after this podcast, after working this script, I, I will never forget it. So uh, the second thing is, uh, reciprocated or how do you pronounce it? Reciprocated. Let me check this, okay. I need to check out this pronunciation because... It feels a little bit hard to pronounce this word, reciprocated. reciprocated. But he talks a lot about like sort of uh, like the desire to like get even and yeah. be uh, reciprocated or apologized mm -hmm. to or whatever. Reciprocate. 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 And also gnarl gnarly, right? I mean gnarly. Gnarly, it's gnarly, right? I mean, gnarly another word that I had never seen this word before. I loved Glee when it first the came first out. The first couple seasons. Yeah, that was, that was a great show. Besides, like, the Glee curse where, like, multiple crew members and cast members died. Which is gnarly, really right? Yeah. I wonder if podcasts are going to be helpful for me to improve my speaking skill. How can I make it better? Like, how can I find a way to improve my speaking skill with podcasts. This is what I'm thinking. This is what I've been thinking for the like past few months. Okay, I'm gonna figure out how to improve my speaking skill with podcasts. And I'm gonna share with you guys every single update. Also, I just wanna make an announcement. I'm gonna share every single scripts with you guys, every single note, every single word, important expressions, idioms. So that, you know, if you're interested in any of the movies or any of the TV shows, you can learn English with me. You can practice with me, you know. You may ask also, like, maybe, Arsene, why do you still study English? Why do you still practice? First of all, the, re the main reason why is because I don't live in a country where I can practice my English. Everybody around me speaks Turkish. 
And the other thing is, I teach English, okay? And it's my responsibility to reduce my mistakes and improve my speaking skill, improve my English, you know, because I need to get better. So that's all I want to say, guys. And now I'm gonna go edit my videos and I'll see you guys in the next video, okay? Bye-bye.